What's up everybody? Thank you for joining me at Muscles and Amusement. Today we're at the Garden Walk in Anaheim, California. What does the Garden Walk have to do with anything theme park or attraction or anything history based? Check it out after this. It's actually pretty cool. Hey, what's up everybody? Today we're in Anaheim, California. Here at the Garden Walk in Anaheim, right across from Disneyland. What does the Garden Walk have to do with anything theme park based? It's actually kind of cool because the Garden Walk actually had a pretty popular attraction called Melody Land. Melody Land was one of the uniquest attractions around because it was a looked like a looked like a I guess you could say like a circus. However, it was a legit entertainment venue that held a lot of stars back in the day. So going on my walk here on uh, the Garden Walk, we'll talk about the location and what's going on and you know how this correlates to uh, Melody Land and then we'll go on from there. So let's, don't, let's enjoy the walk. Let's see what's going on here on Garden Walk. So there's the Garden Walk of Anaheim. It's a pretty uh, new shopping center. It's probably been around probably about 12, 15 years. Um, it took the place of a place called Melody Land. Melody Land was a 3,200 audience theater and around is what they called it. It was actually a, uh, it looked like a tent. It was created by this architect named Freeman and Anaheim Way, which is on the other end, which we're heading to, was actually called Freeman Way back in the day. But this is uh, what's left of uh, the Melody Land location. Had a vast history of Orange County nostalgia here for, for Melody Land. That's awesome. Hey, those guys. Very festive here. It's very festive here at uh, the Garden Walk of Anaheim. Pretty cool. Nice little snowman everywhere. Little chubby snowman. Pretty cool. Some mushrooms. There's Santa himself. Pretty cool here. Very festive. Whoa. That is one big Santa. Look at this guy. Love him. Gotta get in the Christmas cheer too sometimes, so here's Santa. What's up, Santa? It's been a pretty rough 2020, so hopefully you got some good gifts coming for everybody around the corner. Christmas cheer all around. Look at that Mickey over there chilling. Getting some sun. Love it. Love Christmas time, everybody. Love Christmas time. Melody Land's first official location is 400 West Freeman Way in Anaheim. Then it became uh, 400, I believe, Disney Way after it was uh, bought by, uh, you know, contractors. By Melody Land was actually a theater that sometimes it depended on the, the performer would spin. So, oh, what is this? God will give you a nice. This is Zoltar here. If you guys are familiar with the movie Big, this is a big part of that movie. Zoltar. Pretty cool. Kind of scared me. That's kind of cool. I wouldn't recommend putting my face into anything right now. It's a magic shop. Nice little tributes to magic. I am Merlin the Great, and I know. I honestly have not been here in a long time, so this is all kind of new for me as well, and I'm enjoying it. The Melody Land Theater opened on July 2nd, 1963. It was actually a pretty big venue, and a lot of people actually did come and see a lot of performers. The list is huge. Here are some of the performers, just so you guys should know. Melody Land opened on July 2nd, 1963 with Annie Get Your Gun. After that, the who is who of that generation performed at Melody Land, such as Bobby Darin, The Ventures, Ray Charles, The Chamber Brothers, The Beach Boys, Don Ho, Jose Feliciano, Sly and the Family Stone, The Turtles, Little Richard, Bo Diddley, Liberace, The Association, The Yardburns, Pat Boone, The Grateful Dead, Jefferson Airplane, the Mamas and the Papas, Simon and Garfunkel, The Animals, The Dave Clark Five, Sonny and Cher, The Zombies, Bill Cosby, Laurel and Hardy, just to name a few of the performers that actually performed at Melody Land. 
that's pretty freaking a great list right there of performers. That's pretty awesome. That's a very pretty shot right there. I bet you at night this place is beautiful all lit up. Look at that, it's just Christmas everywhere. What's cool about this is Edith right there, say hi Edith, <laughs> found a hidden Mickey on the floor. So we're going to try to go up and uh, see if we can get a better shot of that. That's actually pretty cool. This is the second floor of the Garden Walk. Not a lot really up here right now. It looks like a lot of construction, an interactive grill and bar. Interesting. Escape rooms. Looks like it appears more of the uh, entertainment zone. Downstairs was more of the, uh, I guess more of the retail shops and food. And here we got the experiences. Mission escape games, huh? I don't know how good I would do one of these things because I get very reckless and eventually I think if I'm trapped I'll break something but I don't know I think uh I think Edith back there might have a little more patience than I do but, but I don't know we'll, we'll see I don't know if I can try those things either I might get claustrophobic that's cool hit and Mickey at the garden walk good catch babe Since we're so enthralled right now with the hidden Mickey, why don't I take you back in time and show you some pictures of what Maryland really was. Maryland started construction in 1962. As mentioned earlier, Maryland opened with Annie Get Your Gun on July 2nd, 1963. For over six years, Maryland was a location lots of acts would love to go to due to the tourists that would visit the neighboring theme parks, especially Disneyland, which is a few blocks away. The unique facade of the theater gave many tourists great photo opportunities. And I remember as a kid seeing Melody Land there and wondering why is the circus always there but, ne oh, but never going to see the circus, which is actually kind of funny. Melody Land was home to sold out crowds until 1968 when the property went up for auction. And in 1969, the property was put up for auction and Pastor Ralph Wilkinson bought the property, ending its reign as one of Orange County's premier concert venues. However, that is not the end of Melody Land and its property. In 1969, Ralph Wilkinson bought the area that was called Melody Land and converted into a church. He called it Melody Land Christian Center. After Reverend Ralph Wilkinson bought the property, he converted it into a Christian center. He named it Melody Land Christian Center. Later, Melody Land would have a drug rehab program, a high school, a school of divinity called Melody Land School of Theology. Years later, a preschool and a daycare center were added there as well. In 1976, Maryland High School was formed. The first graduating class was class of 1977, and the last graduating class on this campus was in 1984. The team name for the school and its sports teams were called the Flames, as in Flame of the Holy Spirit. From 1986 to 2000, the school then became Southern California Christian High School, or SCCHS for short. And in 1987, SCCHS moved to the campus in Orange, California. The last graduating class for SCCHS was the class of 2000. The church building was sold to developers in 1998 just as Pastor Ralph Wickerson was deciding to retire. And four years later the building was demolished ending a great run for a very unique attraction in Orange County history. We're approaching uh, the House of Blues. House of Blues actually moved here a few years ago. It was over at a, what was it, Disney, uh, downtown Disney, you know? So the really, really, really cool thing about this is that here's the AMC Theater, which they actually cut a little bit down. They, they sized it down in order to fit the House of Blues. However, the House of Blues actually is on the site where the Melody Land Theater used to be. So what's really cool about that is that, you know, 30, 40 years ago, a little longer, there was actually a concert venue here in the exact same spot. So it's, it's really cool that the energy of the music kind of stays in the same location. So I'm not really into that kind of a mumbo jumbo stuff, but it is kind of cool that 
you know, there's a concert venue right where there used to be a concert venue as well. So that makes it pretty interesting. A little closer to House of Blues, the foundation room. And yes, of course, everything is closed down right now due to the, to the shutdown. So not much to really do here. There is some shopping though. So you wanna come and support the local shops. They're still open. You know, so it's, it's kind of cool, very nostalgic. So for you people that have come to see pant bands over at Melody Theater, this is what it looks like now. Some cool stories too. On one of the Facebook forums, I'm on one person wrote actually that they came to the, to the theater, to the Melody Land Theater to see Bill Cosby. And Bill Cosby was actually behind the bar serving people drinks. I don't want to go too far into that, but at the same time, that is pretty awesome. So, you know, Bill Cosby, thanks for pouring those drinks. We'll keep it at that. The cool thing about the Garden Walk is there is a lot of art. There's a lot of art, like just art stuff around. Projects, looks like a personal or, you know, local painters did some of the murals that are around here. It's pretty cool. Actually, pretty, pretty awesome. Let's go see if we can get some of those paintings as well while we're here. As mentioned, there's some cool art here too, so. This one right here doesn't really say the name of the guy. It just says the light in Pluto. So I think the guy that did this one is named the light in Pluto. That's pretty cool. Interesting name. There is a lot of these hand-painted murals all over. It's kind of cool. It's like a little art walk, to be honest. Oh. Looks like uh, Fiona is touching the world, but I don't think that's Fiona's hand. Uh -oh, looks like we got She-Hulk or a young Marge Simpson, maybe? She-Hulk blowing bubbles. Very cool. So yeah, this whole location was Melody Land Christian Center. There was actually a school of theology. The, it was a really, really successful church, to be honest. And then it moved down the street to another town called Tustin, I believe, and that's where I believe it's still there. There has been some offshoots, but this whole location was a campus, it was a Christian Center campus. Prior to that, it was a, you know, renowned theater with a lot of acts and a lot of history, historic acts that went to go perform there as well. So pretty cool. One of those things, again, where the land was too valuable. They saw that, hey, let's make a, let's make a shopping center out of it. And from the looks of it, they did a really good job. It's pretty cool. Like I said, I have not been here in a while and it does not look anything like I remember. So I'm really glad that we decided to come and check this place out because look at this, this art is amazing. It's like a Pikachu character in an abstract form. Don't mind my professional artistic comments because this guy, it's like, 2020 in a nutshell kind of chasing your own tail huh this is cool this is like a vortex or something the eye of the eye of garden walk pretty cool i'm in the eye of the eye of the garden walk i i i i i Garden walk eye. Never mind. I'm in the eye. Whoa. Some more of the uh, cool art that is here. Art on the walk, actually. There's a place here called Art on the Walk. Very cool. This is a nice little get out of the house walk around, real quick. Covering Melody Land and covering. Some cool, cool art, Motel Riviera. It's pretty awesome. 
open for interpretation. That's pretty awesome. Well, that's it. That's pretty much it here at the Garden Walk. You know, it's 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 cool to walk around, see this location. Saw art I've never seen before. Saw stores I've never seen before either. So it's going to make me want to come back, which is cool. I'm glad we came. But we were here for the history of it and what was here prior, which is awesome. Like, And, and everyone that has reached out in the Facebook uh, post and comments, thank you for your information. Thank you for the input. I love it, you guys. I love hearing you guys' memories about these places. So... Hopefully I did justice with this location. I know it's kind of weird because it's a location that's a shopping center now and we're trying to respect people and, you know, keep the masks on and all that stuff, but we're trying our best. So everyone, thank you again for tuning in. Hopefully I did a great job on this one. I was excited coming here, excited learning about this stuff. I started learning about Melody Land and thank you guys for the input. So once again, I'm Jermaine. Thank you for tuning in. Hit the like, hit the subscribe and on to the next one. Thank you guys. Here's a shot of the orchestra. It's very cool. Gotta love Christmas, just the sights and the sounds, and even though no matter how bad 2020 was, just the sights of this is very uh, uplifting. So let's soak with them for a bit.